breaking news now. We have just learned of another inmate killed at a Mississippi prison. It happened this afternoon at Parchment. Now, the Sunflower County coroner confirmed the death. It happened inside Unit 29. The victim is a 32-year-old man who was stabbed. In addition, inmates set a fire in Unit 30 at the prison. The fire has been put out, and at this time, everything is said to be under control. Now, this is the second riot at Parchment this week, and the second inmate killed. In all, four in Mississippi inmates have died in riots behind bars this week. Early this morning, an inmate was killed at the Chickasaw County Correctional Facility. He has been identified as 26-year-old Gregory Emery of Tate County. Three other people were hurt. Now, right now, all Mississippi prisons are on lockdown, and MDOC says all available resources are being used to deal with the trouble. 12 News' Kate Cornell talked to one local lawmaker about what needs to be done. Kate. Byron, it's been a bloody few months for the Mississippi prison system, but the Department of Corrections says it is being responsive in investigating the violence. MDOC's communications department released a few statements explaining that all facilities are currently on lockdown in the interest of keeping both the inmates and prison staff safe, and that everything is under control. But some local lawmakers say that they aren't doing enough. Senator John Horn of District 26 says that funding is a major problem, which only leads to more problems for the correctional officers. They're the ones who are on the front line of, of the system. And if you're paying someone minimum wage to, to, to guard uh, what may be a dangerous population, I think that that's very unrealistic that, that we'll uh, be able to get and keep good people who know what they're doing. Horn says that with the lack of funding, not only are we unable to pay the existing guards enough, but we are, aren't able to hire enough as well. Coming up on 12 News at 6, I'll have more details from Senator Horn about what he feels will be the best solutions moving forward. Melanie and Byron. Thank you, Kate.